Father, we thank you for a time like this. And we thank you for your grace and your power. What a mighty God we serve. Your glorious and holiness, fearful embraces. And you do wonders. In that wonder working power. As many people as we lift up their voices to cry to heavens now. Let them experience divine visitation. In the name of Jesus. You will shout this louder than anyone around you. If you like Say career. If you like, say calling. If you like, say academics. If you like, say business. But let your voice be loud. Say, have words over my career. Open my fire in the name of Jesus. Name we pray. Say, my father, my father, Baba me, save me, and I shall be saved. Bamila, Emiosila, heal me, and I shall be healed. Womison, Emiosison, can you shout that loud? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to cry to the Lord. Save me and I shall be saved. Heal me and I shall be healed. Name we pray. Say, heavens over my spiritual life. Open my fire. In the name of Jesus. Heavens over my spiritual life. Open, 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 open my fire. Name we pray. You will shout this loud and clear. Say, My Father, Baba, me, anywhere I go, darkness must scatter. Can you shout that loud? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree. In Jesus. 
Jesus name we pray Father we thank you for a time like this and we praise the holy name for your mighty and of power and strength accept our thanks in Jesus name open our understanding lay your hands upon us in Jesus mighty name we pray let's have a seat God bless you now listen to me very carefully as I share an important key with you the awesome power the awesome power of midnight prayers. The awesome power of midnight prayers. Sisters, what did I say? Can the sister say it loud? Brothers, can I hear you sounding like evangelists? The awesome power of midnight prayers. Please listen to me very carefully. The word midnight occurs 14 times in scripture. Each time it occurred, something strange, big is attached to it. The word midnight occurs 14 times in scripture. And each of the appearances has something attached to it. David Daffidi was the first person in the Bible who started getting up at midnight to pray. Getting up at midnight to pray. David Daffidi in Psalm 119 verse 62. Psalm 119 verse 62 119 verse 62 if you are there say yes you see spiritual things are operated with keys it's not so much as uh, Working hard, working and working key, there are keys. You will see the testimonies that will come out of this message. Because it's, it's a key that many people don't know about. They hardly use. Psalm 119, verse 62. Are we there? Can, can we all read it together? Now? Let's go. At midnight. Can you shout it again? Can you read it again? Good. The second point you must understand is that God did almost everything important at midnight. Midnight. Practically everything important that the Almighty did. Midnight. 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 Every time the apostles were locked up in prison, it took night prayers to break open their prison houses. Night prayers. That's why if 
sleep is still caging you. You need prayer. Serious one. Night warfare's are extremely effective. I see somebody here today. By the time you start your night warfare, everything you have lost for years, you shall mysteriously recover them. That amen is too weak. That amen is too weak. Bottom line, night warfare are effective. Because none likes to be awake at night. People prefer to sleep. After working during the day, the tendencies that people normally like to rest at night. That's why all the workers of evil, they pick the night hour. If you too must defeat your enemies, who operate in covens at night, you must learn how to wake up at night and pray through. From 1974, I trained myself to sleep for four hours. Four hours. Once four hours is over, my, my eyes will pop open. Four hours. And my four hours is better than the ten hours some people sleep. This is a very serious matter. If you must survive in the midst of the war that we face. Jesus himself laid examples for us. In Luke chapter 6 verse 12 Luke chapter 6 verse 12 Luke 6 12 If you are there say yes. Sisters, open to that place. Luke 6, 12. Can we read it together, everybody? Let's go. Luke 6, 12. If there is somebody who did not need to pray, it's Jesus. Jesus. But here you find. And it came to pass in those days that he went out into a mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer to God. If Jesus had to pray, how about you? How about me? In this Luke chapter 6 verse 12, after Jesus had finished this vigil, look at it from verse 13. Jesus left the vigil and then after that vigil, he preached the most powerful sermon ever delivered on earth. In that same Luke chapter 6, Bible teachers call it Sermon on the Mount. All the blessed that did that hunger, blessed that did, blessed that All those, the sermon was preached after a night vigil. It took an all night prayer to produce such results. Beloved, what I would like it or not, we have a marching order. If we must prevail, we have a marching order. If we must prevail, if you are still here today, and 12 midnight, <laughs> hey, you are watching. Nollywood. Cinema. 
Nollywood. Nollywood. They want power. You are watching London to 12 midnight. You want power. You are on the internet 12 midnight. They are wasting time. Our marching order is in lamentation. Chapter 2. Verse 19. Those of you here who have made television your Lord and Master. You better, you better change quickly. The enemies of our soul do not watch television. They don't go on sabbatical. They don't take study leave. They don't go on vacation. In Lamentation chapter 2, verse 19, this is our marching order. Arise, the day cry out when Kigbe. Maybe you're not there yet. Lamentations. Ekun Jeremiah. True nineteen. Ori ke jese kokon dini ogun. If you are there, say yes. Say about to see. Because I want us to shout it out. Ori ko imofia ka Kigbe. Are we ready now? Let's go. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Arise, he says. The day, no, we cry out when? Keep the, in the night. So, okay, Leo, in the night. Loru. Beloved. Olufe. Midnight prayer. Adura or Gondoru is the surest arena. Only a big bit. To that you for breaking satanic bondages and limitations. That you for a one big bit. Satanic. At the top of him being tiny. The midnight is the time for spiritual button change. Oni a koko fun iyipa da ogunjija. The midnight ogunjoru is the time of dark meeting initiation. Oni a koko ti mo mo ni yo wekbe ti yo kuku. The midnight ogunjoru is the time when all the evil that have worked in the day are handing over. To the workers of the night. They're handing over to the night workers. It is the time when evil changes shifts. The midnight is a covenant time for coven gathering. I pray for somebody here. May any coven gathering against you at midnight be scattered. The ones that will gather tonight shall be scattered. The ones that will gather after tonight shall be scattered. Let your amen roar like thunder. The midnight is the time they write handing over notes. So this is how far we have destroyed so person, so person. In the day, you are the night workers. Take over from where we left. Therefore, midnight prayer is essential. There is no evil power that can resist the power of persistent and prolonged midnight prayers. Even if, even if it's just for 10 minutes, it doesn't have to be long. No. If you say 12 midnight, you start. And by 12 15, you are true. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. As far as it is consistent, consistent. Twelve to twelve thirty. It's okay. As far as it's consistent. Maybe you went and slept at nine o'clock. You leave your alarm clock on. Twelve midnight drinks. You get up. Ten minutes of aggressive prayer. Go back to sleep. It's okay. As far as it's consistent. There are levels you cannot achieve in the spiritual realm. Until you get involved in midnight prayer. The truth 
Which I must tell you. There is no man who gets any serious power from God. It's always after midnight. That's why one man of God wrote a book many years ago. It calls the book Born After Midnight. And the, the meat of that book that all the good things that God does for people the visitation the power they, they all come after midnight there are levels of revelation that you can never attain without prolonged midnight prayer there are some satanic entities thrones kingdoms chains fetters that you can never dismantle without midnight prayer Jesus said will the Lord not speedily answer his saints who cry unto him day and night. There are some prayers that cannot be prayed in the day. There are day prayers, there are night prayers. So night time is the best battle time. Night time is that time where there is high level of witchcraft activities. High level of demonic activities. The night time is when they begin to cause pain. Sorrow, affliction, torment, bruising people, harassing people, manipulating people. It's all in the night. No wonder Jesus also said, while men slept, his enemies came. The strategy is this. As they are meeting to determine your own fate, you can go on midnight riot and determine their own fate. That's, that's the thing. You can use your weapon of prayer to scatter their meeting and render them helpless and powerless. Is there anyone here who are ready to penetrate into the kingdom of darkness and pull down the walls of principalities and powers? You need midnight prayer. Is there anybody here who want to overcome the battle before the battle even begins? You need the midnight prayers. Is there anybody here you are fed up with your present state? You need the midnight prayers. Is there anybody here you want to obtain all the resources of heaven? You need the midnight prayers. One angel, just one angel, at night destroyed 185,000 soldiers of Sinakiru. Meaning that you can destroy all your enemies in one night. Night time is a time of victory. It's a time to tame the wild lion and the beast. What those enemies are doing in their covens, you can do much more at the throne of grace at midnight. Midnight prayers attract angelic presence. And it will tame all the white lions as This is a serious matter. And this is why I'm bringing to your attention. Acts of Apostles chapter 16. Chapter 16. Verse, from verse 22. Acts 16. 22. Verse 22. 
If you are there, say yes. And the multitude rose up together against them. And the magistrate rent off their clothes and commanded to beat them. So they tore their clothes and asked them to be beaten. And when they had laid many stripes, many stripes upon them, many stripes, they cannot even count. The Jews only give about 39 strokes of cane. This one many. They can't again. They cast them into prison. Charging the jailer to keep them safely. Who haven't received such a charge? Trust them into the inner prison. And made their feet fast in the stocks. And at what time? Subon. What time, beloved? And at midnight. Why did those men decide to keep quiet? They were watching them. Eight o'clock. I go major. They didn't take any action. Nah. No action taken. Eleven. No action taken. Eleven thirty. No action taken. But twelve night. They started. Those men understood warfare. They knew what they wanted to do. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed. And some praised them to God. And the prisoners had them. Meaning that they were not quiet about it. And suddenly, there was a great earthquake so that the foundation of the prisons were shaken. And immediately, all the doors were opened. Everyone's bands were loose. Everyone's band, arm robber, on arm robber, rapist, drug addict, everyone's bands were loosed. And the keeper of the prison are walking out of his sleep. And seeing the prison doors open, he drew out his sword and will have killed himself. Supposing the prisoners had fled. But Paul cried with a loud voice. Do thyself no harm. We are all here. And earthquake was released at midnight. At midnight. If God had informed Paul and Silas that he had a plan that he would allow them to be turned naked, beaten up, and thrown into jail, they will have wondered. God's plans allow the enemies to be so foolish to arrest these two innocent men of God and put them in the inner prison. But by the time this man exploded dead from the nucleus of that prison. The effect was total and devastating. At midnight, they raised their voices in praise and prayer. When they started the song, I'm sure the holders all the prisoners who were there, they will have been mocking them. So, ah, this ones are just coming in. They just brought in this one. So don't worry. They will soon get tired. But as they sang, 
the prison began to dance to their music. And there was an earthquake that shook the prison to its ancient foundation. Then there was collective and individual deliverance. If the door is open and the men are still in bondage, it's like nothing has been done. If the man in the house is chained but the doors are open his freedom also is limited God knew that the opening of the gates was not going to be enough it was going to be useless unless the personal prisons of the prisoners were broken to so, so there was personal deliverance there was collective deliverance. The deliverance of Paul and Silas brought about the deliverance of others. I'm praying for somebody here. May you be instrument of deliverance unto others. Listen carefully. So many people's destinies are tied to yours. You may not agree but it's true. Many people's breakthrough. They are tied to you. Also more. Many people's deliverance depends on your own deliverance. Your painful cries and prayers at midnight will not only deliver you but will extend this deliverance to others who are waiting for you to be delivered for them to be delivered. The foundation of many prisons is strong. The foundation of many bondages, particularly for the black man, is very strong. It will take an earthquake from God to shake them. The purpose of midnight prayer is to provoke that headquake of deliverance so that you can move God to destroy the roots of whatever you are facing. So when you need the headquake of deliverance, what you need is the power of the midnight prayer. We need to cry to the Lord. Oh yeah, The Bible says, Bible the effectual, fervent prayer of the righteous are much. There's one requirement. The Lord wants from you. Righteousness. Righteousness. So that that prayer can avail more. So whatever trouble you are facing, if you start a consistent midnight battle against them, as a matter of necessity, the earthquake of deliverance will be released and the problem will bow. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up on your feet All eyes closed. But you see, if you are here and you are not born again, you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Do so very quickly now. By saying what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, Baba, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can you say this loud and clear? As a result of what I've told you here today. Say ancient prison door. Ancient prison door. In my family life. As somebody needs to shout this loud. Your voice is not loud enough. Your voice is still not loud enough. Break! In the name of 
Jesus. Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Please don't joke with this next prayer. Say powers. Power. Bewitching my photograph against me. Can you shout this loud? The reason I ask you to pray this prayer is because some photographs are in the hands of the enemy to use. Can you shout this loud? Shout it again. Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. Somebody is broken into a lady. Be released, 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 Jesus, then we pray. Our five persons here. I want your marrow. some strange object in your body. I want to go and you know, I after this prayer now. Lay a dura anything. These strange things. I want to get you on ye who vanish. Father, Baba, it is written. At the call we pray. You yourself bought our infirmities and took away our sicknesses. The chastises of our pieces upon you and by your stripes we are healed. I stand there as your servant and I declare under the mandate of Calvary use strange objects in the body. Hear the word of the Lord. It is written as soon as they hear of me they shall obey me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and they shall be afraid out of their close places. You, the stranger in the body, I bind you and I cast you out. In the name of Jesus. Check it now. Check it now. There are five of you. Five of you. You will declare this louder than anyone around you. Collective captivity. Collective captivity. Is that the loudest you can shout? Your voice is not loud enough. Your voice is still not loud enough. Scatter in the name of Jesus. That's the power of God. That's the power of God. Yes. Jesus, then we pray. There are several other persons. And when you make a mirror, what? You have been caged. What if you see no hammer? By the powers who call marine bankers. Lots of war and war only say live for Pamo me. Your money is there. Oh, we in Bembe. Your husband is there. I won't call him Bembe. Children are there. I won't mind one in Bembe. They have hidden so many things from you. Who called you? Got out the Pamo Pro or doing? I'm just going to count seven from here. Walk or count Kade, the Latin, and then the volcanic fire. Nibba, no, the rocket, you know. I've done the ghost to fall upon you. Yeah, remember your ballet. And the yoke of 
of that water power the broken completion one two three four five six seven Every witchcraft sponsored infirmity. Clear away now. In the name of Jesus. Let your amen rule like thunder. You will now shout this louder than anyone here. Hatchquake of the Lost Deliverer. Can you shout it loud? Your voice is not loud enough. Shout it louder. Fight for me now. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you now shout this loud and clear after me? Say, Acts of God. Acts of God. Acts of God. Cut down. Cut down. I want you to put your emphasis on cut down. Every witchcraft tree battling my life. Can I hear the sister shouting it? Mm-hmm. This prayer is meant to penetrate into the covens. Can I hear the sisters again shouting it? Sisters, your voice is not loud enough. Brothers, can your voice roar like thunder? Cut down. When you say it once, you now convert it to machine gun prayer. Cut it down. 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 Open your mouth and pray. Yes. My putter city like I have with Shanda. It's happening, it's happening. Cut it down. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Cut it down. Whether it's in the village, whether it's in the city, whatever it is present, cut it down. In Jesus' name we pray. Every cage fashioned to imprison my star. Can I hear you shouting that? I smash you. Can you say that again? In the name of 
Jesus. Open your mouth and say it loud and clear. Every cage fashioned to imprison my star. I smash you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Power! 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 Exhorting yourself as eagle against me. Can I hear you shout this one? I knock you down. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and deal with that power. Just bend. In Jesus' name we pray. Ni Uruko Jesu Lagba. Say thou power. Iwagbara of invisible barrier. Tongwe Dabu Airi stagnating my life. To die me goon. Can I hear you shouting that? Again, book a keyboard. Let your voice be louder than that. Is that the loudest you can shout it? Scatter! In the name of Jesus! Yes! Yes! Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes, In Jesus' name we pray. Ni Oruko Jesu, the Agbadura. Father, Baba, at my count of seven here, let, let anyone in this service who is under the yoke of village witchcraft be released instantly for it is written no weapon formed against you shall prosper that every enemy that comes against us must flee from before our face if they come against us in one way they shall flee in seven ways father Baba, as I count seven from me, anyone, any no matter where they are, whether they inside this auditorium or outside, and they have been harassed, tormented, punished by village witchcraft, let your power fall upon such people and let them be completely delivered in the name of Jesus. One, any, two, eighty, three. Four. Thank you, Lord. Five. Six. Seven. Let the chains be broken. Let the chains be broken. Powers. Cutting holes in my pocket. Can you shout this loud? In the name of Jesus. Powers. Cutting holes in my pocket. Your time is up now. In Jesus' name we pray. Sisters, are you here tonight? Can you say this after me? Powers. Using the hours of the night. 
to conclude my case. Can the sisters shout it with anger? Brothers, can I hear you roaring like thunder? Thunder of God! Scatter them! In the name of Jesus! Scatter them! In Jesus' name we pray.